you guys are calling me again, huh? Need more ideas? No, just keep watching my channel. You'll get them. Oh, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Veer, Skull Dread, the obvious Lord Bay mod support. I mean, don't forget about that one. That one's just like, it's clear as day, okay? Just keep watching my channel. You'll get the ideas you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you'd regret making that ninja support. Let me guess. Too many weebs bugging you about it? Yeah, um, I got that same kind of thing going on right now. Eugene thinks he's a ninja and he's trying to sneak in on me. Well, at least I got his ninja support. You still don't have a power bond searcher. Yeah, and you still don't have Cosmo support. Anyways, so what are you guys gonna make this time instead of the power bond searcher? Another repair plant? Oh God, that's exactly what you're doing. <laughs> you guys, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the new Emergency Cyber Spell card that is coming out in the OCG in a collector's pack, and we're going to be talking about that um, in depth today. Um, that's basically going to be the whole subject of today's video, and then we're going to be opening up some fan mail, but I really want to uh, get in depth um, uh, with this card, because of course, you know, Cyber Dragons are my favorite deck, and this card really, uh, I don't know, it's, this card has a lot of potential, but I'm not sure if it's better than Cyber Repair Plants, or, and, I, and I'm not really not sure what kind of ratios you should run this card out with cyber repair plants and uh, it's just hard to explain but I'm going to explain all of that in front of the card wall but first I have to get all my shout outs out of the way first I want to give a shout out to Spectre Collectibles who makes me all my cyber dragon tokens that I test with you know that I've been testing the new support with that's going to be coming out you know in cybernetic horizon oh my freaking gosh man they're amazing like the tokens that they make for me just thank you guys so much for your support seriously and I also want to thank all of my patrons thank you all so much for your love and support it is so much appreciated you guys are a fan Fantastic. I never know how to pay you guys back except for to keep making content and to get you discounts on mats. Speaking of which, if you guys do want a 10% discount off of any mat from metamats.com, then enter in the code Eugene versus Jesus and you will get 10% off of any mat that you want. But now with all the shout outs out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and move over to the card wall and talk about this card. I'm so excited. All right, so first about Emergency Cyber, before I can talk about it, I need to tell you guys what it does. I need to show you guys what it does, okay? So it is a normal spell card. It says you can only activate a card with this card's name once per turn so you can only activate one copy of it a turn but not that big of a deal because it's a pretty good card right so um, it says you can uh, add one cyber dragon monster or one um, night machine monster that cannot be normal summoned or set in other words it adds it's, it's just that simple it adds any cyber dragon monster from your deck to your hand unlike um, cyber repair plant that needs a cyber dragon monster in your graveyard um, first in order to do so um, so it's like this card um, is like so far and um, it's like a uh, it's a faster cyber repair plan it's just i mean um even though it's not hard to get a cyber dragon in your graveyard i mean for example you just like normal summon core and just like i don't know summon link karibo not the most uh, optimal play but you get what i mean it's super easy to get a cyber dragon in your graveyard these days especially in, um because we have cards like galaxy soldier uh brilliant fusion a foolish burial etc that are just that just dump cyber dragon in the graveyard you know what i mean um this card's other effect though says if this card is sent to the graveyard because your opponent's card negated this card's activation you can discard one card from your hand, add this card from your graveyard to your hand. So that is pretty good as well. Uh, because if this card gets ashed, for example, you can just, um, you know, uh, this card will be in your graveyard. Um, you could discard a uh, Hertz, which is coming out to get this card from your graveyard. And then Hertz can kick in and get a Cyber Dragon from your deck. So that is pretty good. And it gives the deck like its own built in uh, discard outlet that isn't Galaxy Soldier. But it's a discard outlet that is conditional because your opponent has to negate that card's activation first you know what i mean like it has to be stopped with like i don't know hope harbinger uh, I, I don't know just off the top of my head i mean it's got to be stopped by ash okay so very conditional your opponent has to ash it but you do have like a discard outlet that's pretty cool that's something that, that the deck you know doesn't have before but this deck does you know the cyber dragon deck does already have a search card we already have cyber repair plants uh, but like i was saying earlier cyber repair plant requires you to have a cyber dragon in grave already which in the past and you know when the cyber uh, revolution structure deck first came out that was a little bit of a problem because we didn't have link monsters we didn't have galaxy soldier yet i mean we had foolish burial and stuff we had power bond and stuff uh, but you get the point it wasn't as easy to get a cyber dragon in the graveyard you would have to you know make you would actually have to make plays first uh, to get 
get Cyber Dragon in the graveyard before you could get the search off of repair plants. But now, and especially now that I have been testing the deck with Cyber Rev system and with um, with uh, Brilliant Fusion and stuff, um, Cyber Repair Plants is just, it's fine. It's just fine. Matter of fact, I'm only playing two of it. I'm not even maxing out on it, especially because it's a once per turn card. It's, it is a once per turn card. Um, and um, I'm going to draw more comparisons between these two cards and just let, let me keep going here, okay? I have a lot to say about um, Emergency Cyber versus Cyber Repair Plants, so just keep rolling with me here. But my point is, unlike back in the day, it's super easy to get a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. It's easier than ever. Literally easier than it's ever been before to get a Cyber Dragon into the graveyard for Cyber Repair Plants. So it's like this, this like Emergency Cyber is an overkill card, except for its second effect. Its second effect, um, you know, uh, being able to uh, bounce itself back to hand by discarding one, um, that, that's good. It gives the deck, you know, like I said earlier, like its own discard outlet and its own kind of recoverability and stuff, but it's, but it's very conditional. I mean, your opponent does have to negate it, which I guess is getting more and more and more common as we go on in Yu-Gi-Oh! So it, it may not be conditional. Um, in other words, guys, as we as uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! gets more complicated, things that we used to consider more conditional and stuff, and cards that were more conditional back when um, that we didn't play, we might consider playing more and more as Yu-Gi-Oh! goes on. That's just kind of, uh, or effects that, you know, used to be kind of bad or going to be good. It's just how Yu-Gi-Oh! evolves. So in the aspect of recoverability, um, I would say that... Um, uh, Emergency Cyber is a better card, kind of, kind of, but what you have to understand is that Cyber Repair Plant, I think, is the better card, okay? The reason why is because, um, you know, first off, Cyber Repair Plant doesn't have, you know, the search stipulation of, you know, be, not be, of only being able to search, um, you know, light machines that, can, that can't be normal summoner sets. Um, it can search any light machine. So, in other words, uh, Cyber Repair Plants over Emergency Cyber um, can search um, Jizakiru, okay? Whereas Emergency Cyber can't search Jizakiru, uh, but it can search um, it can search Cyber Elton, which is very, very cool. Um, it's, Cyber Elton is a card I even played back in the day in Duelist Alliance formats. Uh, you know, when I was playing uh, Cyber Dragons more for fun, it was like my secondary deck, you know what I mean? And I used it to out Winda and stuff because Winda was a pain in the dick. And Cyber Elton is a really good card, don't get me wrong. It gets big on attacks. You know, it sends to Grave. It doesn't destroy. It's a, it's a good card. It's a good mass removal card and stuff. It's a Cyber card. Uh, but it's it's not as good as Cyber Repair Plant because Cyber Repair Plant being able to search Jizakiru is just Mm, so good, so good. Um, not to mention, this is uh, this is going to be my biggest point right here. Why Cyber Repair Plants is still a better card than Emergency Cyber. At least I see it as a better card at this point in time. Uh, I see it as a better card than uh, Emergency Cyber, and the reason why is because um, a, a Cyber Repair Plant can shuffle Cyber Dragons uh, or Light Machines back into deck, which is good. It is very, very good. Um, the reason why that is is because you can use up all of your machine dupe targets, for example, all of your Cyber Dragons can be in Graveyard, and there have been many times, guys, many, many times um, throughout all the years of me playing Cyber Dragons that I've used Cyber Repair Plants to dump a Cyber Dragon back in deck and activated, um, you know, a machine duplication and summoned it right back out. Uh, likewise, um, something that I've talked about in the past, uh, since I find myself, you know, uh, different formats of, you know, make Cyber Dragons extra deck, you know, um, extra tight, uh, you know, tighter than others, I should say. Um, so there's uh, times where you have, um, you know, room to play a second um, instant fusion target, and there's times where you're only pay playing the Panzer Dragon. And when you're only playing the Panzer Dragon, there have been times, and there's been at least, you know, twice, seriously, in real life duels, where I've used Cyber Repair Plants to dump, you know, Panzer Dragon back into the extra deck for an instant fusion target. You can do that. And people also forget that with Cyber Repair Plants, that if you have more than three Cyber Dragons in the graveyard, you can activate two effects. So it's really, really good. Cyber Repair Plant, guys, I think is just, it's the better card, um, but Emergency Cyber is still a good card. Don't get me wrong like I still think it has a lot of potential you know especially with hurts and stuff and especially with uh, you know hand traps being more uh, prevalent you know as, as we go on and um, you know and ash and everyone's playing three ash so um, I think that this card is, is good it's good it's just like I don't know what the ratios I don't, I don't know what ratios you should play like it's it's weird like I don't know if this is like a three of card like I mean it can be a three of card but I also see this card as kind of like Kind of like an overkill card almost, you know what I mean? It's like, do, do you really need it? Especially because this card is a once per turn just like Cyber Repair Plant is. So, I mean, getting, I guess getting like another card so you can get more than just one search per turn, I guess that's really, really good. So you can have, you know, um, a search from Cyber Repair Plants and a search from Emergency Cyber. So that's really, really good. I do see that as well. So that's great. But really, guys, I feel like this spot could have been used to make something else. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, we never 
know, we could be getting even more Cyber Dragon support after this. I wasn't even expecting this card, for example, guys. I thought that they were done announcing Cyber Dragon support, but apparently not. Um, I, and so I'm not complaining. Uh, the more Cyber Dragon stuff, the better, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, my in my very biased opinion, I should say. You guys all know I love Cyber Dragon. It's my freaking favorite deck ever. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, let me know uh, what you think about this card. I've spoken my piece about it. I think that it has a lot of potential, but I also feel like it can kind of be, like, overkill, but it is, you know, an extra search card. It's an extra, you know, once per turn. It is it is nice to have an extra Cyber Repair Plane. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, you know, having another Cyber Repair Plane actually being able to get a search is really, really good. The only downside of it is they balanced it and made it not be able to search out Jizakiru. So, I guess that's me speaking of, you know, me um, abridging my whole conversation right there. Uh, pretty much in a nutshell, minus the whole, um, you know, being able to shuffle back versus uh, the recoverability thing. But anyways, guys, um, this card is really, really good, or at least I think it has a lot of potential. Go ahead, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed, and now let's go ahead and open up some fan mail. And this one uh, doesn't... Uh doesn't say who it's from, but it's from Texas, so that means they're gonna be good people. <laughs> Let's open this up. We have the return packaging, and then a bunch of cards. Whoa, and then a, and then a letter. What, what is this? Uh, Dear Yugi Nono, the person with too many names, I have been watching your channel for a few months now and thought it was time to uh, time I wrote you. Your channel is amazing, don't change anything, just keep up with it and you'll have 100, 100k subs in no time. So I have a few questions for you. Uh, what is your favorite uh, Yu-Gi-Oh set to open? What is your least fa uh, favorite archetype probably is paleozoics uh do do watch a uh, krypton on sci-fi uh, i don't uh, i i don't watch uh, cable television or television at all actually um i pretty i pretty I, I think it's pretty good um and why are cyber dragons so good what kind of question is that they're cyber dragons anyways um so i'm going to regionals on may 12th and i, <laughs> I couldn't give a straight face <laughs> anyways, they're cyber dragons dude <laughs> So I'm going to regionals on May 12th, and, I, and I'm playing uh, Yo, uh, Yosinju Kaiju and Rin uh, and Giant Cheddar help, um, have helped me with my deck list, and I can't thank them enough for for um, helping me. Uh, but that aside, my friends and I have a problem. But we we love Teledad format, but we uh, only play in real life uh, since we're uh, kids in middle school and can't waste money on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We have to play on Dueling Book, and it's rare for uh, multiple of us to be on at the same time unless we uh, plan weeks ahead. Sincerely, Raging Zone. Dark. P.S. You got me and one of my friends with the Cyber Dragon support. Hype trade. P.P.S. Uh, green equals sign. All right. And red pendulum equals keep. All right. Um, P.P.P.S. If you if you send some Teledad stuff, you uh, you could sign it. If you don't care, it, comment rarity, dude. Like I don't send cards out to people. I'm so sorry. I do have Teledad stuff, but just as a rule, I just I don't send out. I just don't send stuff to people. I'm so 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 sorry, dude. Um, I and I, I just I just don't. It's just a rule. I have to stick with I I can't send stuff to everybody so I I'm just gonna have to send stuff to nobody I'm sorry I'm sorry to everybody I know I know it sucks but I'm so I'm sorry dude I'm so sorry but I will definitely absolutely sign all these cards for you right now like without a problem matter of fact let's see uh, what you sent so uh let's uh, so green you said sign uh so green and sign this let's, let's see what you sent me to sign <laughs> so did you send me like a whole deck what, what, what no 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 you sent two foolish burials dude Oh, so it's it is dad stuff. Hey, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That is, the what? This is this is awesome. Dude, this is freaking amazing stuff. Like, oh my gosh, dude, did you send me like a whole bag of like foolish burials or something? Oh my gosh. And then um, a whole a whole stack of foolish burials. Like I should say, I don't know why I said bag. A giant trunade. Oh my gosh, dark grab for smashing ground. Dude, I will absolutely sign all these for you. Thank you so much for sending them. Uh, let's see, let's see uh, what you sent me. What what did you send me? Uh, Monster of Born, Sakuretsu Armor, Lightning Vortex, so goat stuff. Lajin, hey, 2002 stuff, so Lajin's, dude, thanks. And then uh, Soul Taker, hey, a couple Soul Takers. What else we got? And then uh, so Soul Taker, Call the Haunted. Dude, thank you so, so much. Uh, like, uh, you know, uh, Goat Commons, uh, you know, like I've explained before, like Goat Commons, 2002 Commons, like anything I can just give out to people, like, you know, uh, the, when I, you know, anything I can make a binder out of, so when I meet people, I should say, uh, I sh could just give people cards, like right there. The people are like, what's Goat Format? I'm like, oh, when I rip up, open my binder and just give them everything they need. I like having all that stuff. Uh, but dude, thank you so, so much for sending these cards. I will absolutely uh, sign all these and send them right back your way. Thank you so much again.